This is another Poets at War General Report. And here's your General, Joshua David Ling. A good morning to me and those around me, physically and uh, in time, and good whatever, a good day to you all. Good day, good evening. So, uh, it is the 24th of Saturday, and I am likely, if you're watching this now, um, actually either on my way or at the Fight, Laugh, Feast conference, uh, getting things going with that. We're maybe working some cameras, you know how it goes. But uh, it's been a really, really fun time uh, doing what we do here and getting to record a few extra of these ahead of time. I'm able to do this and go to places like Fight, Laugh, Feast thanks to the contributions of viewers like you and others. Uh, the easiest way that you can uh, help out with the reawakening of epic poetry and all that entails is to go to uh, joshuadavidling.com slash support. And I have a whole bunch of different ways you can give. Just pick one and we'll rock and roll from there. So... With that being said, today I'm going to be talking about something uh, that I did for a long time called e-fetting. Uh, and that is a very interesting topic. Um, I'm going to do a larger one on pro wrestling in general at some time. But uh, professional wrestling is one of those forms of storytelling that often gets overlooked because it's... Uh, you know, uh, it, it kind of has a magician's quality to it where they try to uh, fake you out, but not in a way that you don't already know. <laughs> a lot of people act like, you know, it's still the 1950s or whatever where they're actually trying to pawn it off as real. That's not the case anymore. Hasn't been for quite some time. But they are stories. They are storytelling. They are serial. And most of the time it's not great. But there are some amazing moments in professional wrestling and adding in the athleticism and the the over the top superhero like characters it can be a really fun thing i was actually trained in pro wrestling for a little while but that's going beyond the scope of uh what we're talking about the main thing i want to get to is something called e-fetting which is a really geeky thing um it is something that sprang up around the time of message boards and the like back in, uh, you know, early 2000s is kind of when it started, um, maybe late 90s. Uh, but the idea and the concept is a fantasy role-playing game uh, based in the world of professional wrestling. And I wanted to get into it specifically because I think it's one of the most amazing creative writing games to ever exist. And how it might be adapted for other forms of role-playing game. Um, obviously, one of the benefits of role-playing games, especially in the realm of creative writing, is to start sharpening your skills. And I'd love to get something like this going, maybe with the brood sometime. You know, when I have time, when we have time, whatever. But I think it would be really, really fun. Um, essentially, this is the way... Uh, e-fetting works and there's uh, there's variations within the formula but most of the time it comes down to this you pick or create a professional wrestler um you the you are then added to a roster uh and every week you're given an opponent now you have a usually about a week to and there's like i said variations on time but you are given about a week to create a promo of some kind and some of them uh uh they consider this create creative written promo um to be more some want it to be more like a monologue some people want it to be more like you know a character movie <laughs> and you're writing a script on your your wrestler and why they're going to beat the other wrestler and you know creating interest in your character so it can be just about anything Right. Um, now, some federations are a little bit more, you know, specific about they want you to do either a monologue or they really want that character development or, you know, there's certain th things that you can can and can't do within your uh, what they call promo. Um, but, you know, it, like I said, it varies. Well, basically, your opponent done, does one as well. And. When the day of the event comes, the person who is the fed head, the person who is running the game, the dungeon master, if in D&D &D terms, 
um, then takes those and looks at them and essentially rates them on whatever his subjective scale is for these sorts of things. And whoever wins that competition uh, wins their match. And the Fed head will actually write out a full show of matches um, for the, uh, the, the, the participants. As you can imagine, this gets a little bit um, unscalable at certain points <laughs> when you have lots and lots of participants Unless you have a really, really prolific writer as the Fed head, things tend to break down. And that's that's one of the only drawbacks of the process. But I uh, I actually did e-fedding from um, somewhere around uh, 2006. Um, yeah, about 2006 up until probably close to around 2012 or so off and on. And I made some really amazing friends. I have a friend who I'm still in contact with on occasion who lives uh up north and he actually came to christ through our um uh contact and our role playing together we role played outside of the fed um we tried to develop our characters and you know sharpen one another's skills and it was a lot of fun and it was a lot of early uh skill uh, uh skill work for me to sharpen my craft in writing and it helped me learn that i love poetry too so um with that being said i think that this is one of those forms that even if you're not a pro wrestling fan that you you could take something from it and create something even even more exciting for whatever you're into whether it be sci-fi fantasy etc um but you really got to kind of get creative in how to do it because the nature of professional wrestling um is that it's a weekly show we know that no one's going to die <laughs> unless you want your fed head to get really crazy and write someone off the show um but generally speaking it has certain parameters that lend itself to this form fantasy is a little bit tougher but what i would suggest and this is just a suggestion you can do it however you want is uh essentially doing sort of a um great race version of a quest for some special medieval object like a holy grail right so basically you have your character you create your character you get added to the roster so to speak and all these characters uh are going after the one highlander sword whatever you want to call it right um they're going after the one thing uh that is going to win the game so to speak now this necessitates this being sort of a one-shot um story but it's it's something that you can draw out as long as you want so um and there could be other prizes along the way you can do other sorts of you know um magical artifacts and things that people will win and they have a battle but the idea is that uh the fed head actually keeps a um linear spacing ranking so to speak of how far along the quest each of these individual characters are and he will uh essentially award them distance points toward the goal based upon their promo <laughs> you know, whatever we want to call it their their journal log right whatever you want to call it so basically uh this lets you create a really interesting character make it as interesting as possible most as exciting as possible and the characters can meet at various points along the way and have a battle to try and hold back the other one or stop the other one from continuing on the quest. Or they might end up working together. That's something that doesn't really happen a whole lot in efeds unless it's a situation where two people, you know, become so, uh, you know, so res they, they so respect one another's skills that they become a tag team and they, be they go on a different route. You know what I mean? And I, I see no problem with essential, essentially creating parties within the system, right? Uh, creating groups of characters that are working together toward the quest. Now, obviously that breaks down after a while and you need, uh, some semblance of good and bad characters and stuff to keep things from becoming one homogenous group moving toward the goal. Um, but it's, it's an interesting idea nonetheless. And as someone who really has, has a major distaste for the math <laughs> involved in much fantasy role-playing, I think that it's a way that 
we can use our creative skills and our literary skills um, to create a much more exciting format. And there's a lot of other ways to do exciting formats and stuff. And there's a certain amount where math can be exciting, the idea of chance being thrown into it and whatnot. But, you know, you could implement that in your subjective scoring system, right? You have all these uh, set, uh, a little bit more um, objective kind of things like, you know, your craft, how well it was written, et cetera. And then you get a little more subjective with like how I think of it uh, how I receive it as a as a person reviewing this character, and then you on top of that you can add you know a little d10 d20 dice roll to your system and uh, throw it throw a little uh, spice into the mix right um, a little bit of uh, a luck as they would call it uh, whatever you want to whatever however you want to uh, blessings of the gods whatever <laughs> or god whatever so there's uh, lots of options there. And I think that this this form has a lot more potential than where it was sort of pigeonholed in professional wrestling. I think it's really interesting that it sprung up around professional wrestling and then it hasn't really gotten much further in other places. So I leave that to you. Most of my friends now are more into the fantasy sci-fi sort of camp than the pro wrestling camp. Um that wasn't by design. It's just sort of happened over the years. Uh, I'm, I've always been more into story, even in the realm of professional wrestling, even though I like really good top notch matches and technically sound things and whatever else I was always into the characters and what they, what they were thinking and what they were going through and what their arcs were and all this other sort of stuff. And so it, it's an interesting intersection of geekery that uh, I'd love to hear more thoughts from you. Uh, you can text me over there. See that? See that? Text me. Call me. Talk to me. What's going on? Tell me what your thoughts are on e-fetting. Would you want to do something like this within, you know, our little community? Um, or is it something that just sounds ridiculous? <laughs> I'd love to hear your thoughts. And uh, remember, do not, uh, be your family's bar. Do not turn to the right or to the left. And the Lord will be with you wherever you go. We will see you next time in the trenches on Poets at War. Got up some